So you just got yourself a brand new gaming monitor and you're wondering what should you do to set it up properly? Well, that's why I'm making this video today to show you guys the right way to set up your brand new gaming monitor. What is going on guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a few things that you should do when you get a new monitor. The first thing you should do when you get a new monitor, you wanna go into your display settings in Windows and configure your refresh rate. So you wanna make sure that your monitor is operating at the fastest refresh rate possible. Probably part of the reason why you paid so much money for your monitor in the first place, and it's really easy too. All you have to do is right click on your desktop and hit display settings, scroll down and hit advanced display settings, and then you wanna take a look at display adapter properties for that display. You wanna click on that, and then you wanna make sure that the high available refresh rate is selected. After that's done, you wanna make sure that your adaptive sync is on. So I don't have an AMD GPU, so I don't know exactly what the name is, but I'm pretty sure it's something similar to the way that you set it up with an NVIDIA GPU. So on Windows, with an NVIDIA GPU, what you do, you right-click your desktop again, click on NVIDIA control panel, and then you go to set up G-Sync. And then you wanna set up G-Sync for full screen and windowed mode as well, so that no matter what way that you're running your game, you will have all your frames in sync and you won't get any frame tearing. Now, after that point, you're pretty much done in terms of everything that you can do in Windows. Now you wanna go ahead and configure the color of your monitor. Pretty much what I do, I just set it to whatever my preference is. Every Everybody's preferences are different and every monitor is calibrated a bit differently as well in terms of the color. So what I would do, I will go ahead and go through the different modes that are available in your monitor. You know, they probably have like an sRGB mode, an RTS mode, an FPS mode, a racing mode. Go through all those modes, see which one that you like the best, and then you can go ahead and further customize the brightness and the contrast and the saturation to your own personal liking. Finally, what you want to do, you want to test out the different response time modes to see which one has the least amount of ghosting and will give you the best performance and the best looking game experience that you're after. So load up your favorite game and then go into the on-screen display in your monitor and start to mess with the different response time modes to see which mode is gonna offer the least amount of ghosting. And it's pretty easy too. You can tell if you mess with the different modes and you see that one mode that's set to the fastest typically will offer the most ghosting in game. But every panel is different, so just be sure to test all of them and see which one provides you with the best balance of response time in terms of input lag from when you press a key or click your mouse and it shows on the screen in a reasonable amount of time compared to the amount of ghosting or trailing that is introduced in the panel. And that is pretty much it. That's everything I do when I get a new gaming monitor and set it up and make sure that it's working properly. I set it up and check the refresh rate. Then I go ahead and enable free sync or adaptive sync or G-Sync, whatever. I'll go ahead and configure my favorite color settings and then I'll go into my favorite game and check for ghosting and set it to the best response time. But if you wanna check out some of my previous monitor reviews, I have done quite a few of them. I've done a lot of Alienware monitors. I'm gonna be doing a Samsung monitor soon. I've checked out some Asus monitors as well. So we have quite a few monitor reviews on the channel. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. But all right, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in Too Much Tech. If you need additional help, feel free to drop a comment below or hit me up in my Discord channel as well. We have a whole thread for tech support in there. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will catch you in the next video. By the way, wanna let you guys know that we are giving away a Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition as well as some HyperX keycaps. So we'll be doing this giveaway as soon as we hit 30,000 subscribers. Just wanna say thank you guys in advance for all the support that we've been getting. We've been growing like crazy and just wanna do something special for you guys to give back. So to enter into this giveaway, all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, like this video, and join my Discord and look for the 30K giveaway channel, read all the rules and go ahead and play place your entry. So best of luck to all of you and thank you again for all the support.